today we're going to be talking about how to find the dot product of two vectors and in this particular video we're going to be doing two separate problems in the first problem we have two vectors a and b the first is the vector a equals 4 1 1 fourth. the second vector is 6 negative 3 negative 8 and we need to find the dot product of these two vectors remember that the dot product is also called the scalar product or sometimes the inner product and really all we're doing is multiplying the components of each vector and then adding them all up together that's kind of why I like the name inner product even though dot product is the one you should use inner product helps to remember that we're multiplying these inner components here and and we notate it when we have a and b like this we say a times b and it can't just be written a b like this it's not just a multiplied by b like two variables the dot product is truly notated with this a dot b a times b and it has to be written that way so that we know that it's a dot product so the dot product of a times b is just going to be the x components multiplied together so 4 and 6 will multiply 4 and 6 together then we add to that the multiplication of our y components the product of our y components 1 times negative 3 and then we add to that the product of our z components so 1 fourth times negative 8 like this so then we just simplify we can multiply each one we'll get 24 we'll get 1 times negative 3 which is negative 3 and we'll get 1 fourth times a negative 8 which is a negative 2 24 minus 3 minus 2 is going to be equal to 19 so the dot product of a times b where our vectors a and b are defined by these components here is 19. Now let's take a look at a slightly different example. When we have vectors defined in terms of i, j, and k, remember that the coefficients on these components here, i, j, and k, can be translated into this same form as this first problem that we had here. So if we start with b here first, i is kind of associated with this x coordinate, j with the y coordinate, and k with the z coordinate. So b can really be defined here as the coefficient on i, which is a positive 1 the coefficient on j which is a negative one and the coefficient on k which is a positive one so that's really just b equals and then this kind of coordinate point here for a we can say a is equal to same thing two comma one because the coefficient is two on i the coefficient is one on j there's no k value so essentially here we have plus zero k which means the coefficient on k is zero so that's how you can think about it and then our dot product is the same thing a times b is equal to two times positive one plus one times negative one plus zero times positive one like this if we simplify we'll get two one times negative one is a negative one zero times one is zero 2 minus 1 plus 0 is just 1, so our dot product of these two vectors, a and b, is just 1. 